after four games? Uh, what, you know, how quickly have you grasped, grasped it? What part of you as a leader, as a point guard, wants to be someone who's, you know, showing or, or just has an idea where everybody should be and the um, effect of that? I mean, I think in terms of watching basketball and in the position I played my entire career, that that part comes natural. But in terms of like soaking up the the Dallas system, being able to play with uh, Luca and JB, obviously as the first and second playmakers, uh, that goes a credit to those two. And then it's also a credit to Coach Kidd in terms of you know paring it down, simplifying things. So now I know that I kind of have a cheat sheet, right? Like whereas they may be calling from nine different things, I'm calling from like four. So you know it it does make it a little bit simpler, a little bit easier on me. Um, I think because uh, we're winning, you know, obviously everything is is optimistic and happy. Uh, and so I accept the praise, but, you know, it, it's much more credit to those three um, helping me on that end for sure. And then on the defensive end, it's just group talk. You know what I mean? Like they have a, a, a team philosophy here defensively. And so sometimes people are talking me into position and pushing me into position uh, when I'm over helping or under helping. So, you know, I appreciate the guys. And then just even more generally, what do you think about playing with Luca and, and Jalen and, and kind of a three point guard lineup? Um, oh, I mean, I think it's great, right? Like, so uh, on this team, the, the great part about it is, right, everybody kind of knows what they're good at. Uh, they know their roles, and, and they try to get to it. Um, and, and with that being said, it's a very, like, professional uh, mindset in that respect. So, you know, you're not going to have, like, Bullock and, and, and you know, Dodo isoing, right? Um, so you're not going to be caught off guard, so it's also easy to get in position, right? Like, if Luka has the ball, I know, get to the corner, right? But if, uh, you know, Dodo has the ball or Bullock, I might go chase the ball and, and go get it. You know, but, you know, if there was a situation where they were trying to ISO and then I'm chasing the ball then I'm messing up space and then we are discombobulated and then everybody's like, what are we doing? Like, we don't have a lot of those moments because everybody's kind of doing their job. Hi, Spencer. Um, Janie McCauley from AP. Um, when you guys are able to get those stops on, on big shots by the Warriors there and then get back in transition, how much did that help during the comeback to just keep keep doing it on one end and then make it happen on the other? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I think with any comeback, you got to just kind of keep your head down and keep firing. You know what I mean? You can't try to hit the home run play, especially down 21. If you just came out firing threes every other play uh, and then not good quality threes, then you could be in trouble. But, you know, we, we kept our head down. We got enough stops, um, obviously, with their misses and, and just kept plugging away at it. All right. We got a couple on uh, Zoom, Spencer. Uh, Kevin Gray, 105.3 The Fan. Hey, Spencer. What has been the message to you about attacking and staying in attack mode when you have opportunities to do so much like you did in the fourth quarter. What's that been that message to you with respect to that? Um, I mean, JK pretty much lays it out. Like he says, look, we have three playmakers, Luca, Luca first, JB second, Spencer third, like, and we want those three to be aggressive. And it's our responsibility, ah, our responsibility to make the right play. So, you know, with uh, Golden State, the way they play, they switch a lot. So it was trying to get the matchup, get downhill, get in the paint, collapse the defense. They uh, weren't really helping at the rim um, in terms of lack of rim protection. So then it was on me to finish versus uh, obviously kicking it, um, as you've seen in like some of the other games, I think like, you know, Miami. We'll do one more, Pravat. Hey, Spencer. Obviously, it's only been four games, but you've obviously found your stride here. What's just what's been going into that, being able to find your your, your place here in Dallas and making it happen so quickly? Yeah, I think uh, it's on the coaches. Yeah, I think uh, it's on keeping it simple on, on the guys being in the right spots um, and and on them continue to push me to be aggressive. I think, you know, they they want me to be in the paint because they know it'll get them shots uh, most nights. Obviously, the night ends up turning to more points because, like I said, Golden State uh, switched and then uh, didn't really have much rim protection out there. But, you know, on, on other nights, there's going to be a center or a shot blocker rotating over and it's going to be, you know, on me to have the responsibility to pass it to them and they're going to get threes. And, you know, hopefully we, we have a great offensive night that way too. All right. Thank you, Spencer. Nice game. Thank you.